Hey, hey, and welcome to Shuriken Skills Session 2 in the Work Smarter, Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, a.k.a. The Design Ninja. In this movie, we're going to do some drawing practice in Illustrator and create this quick and easy light bulb icon. So I'm just going to get rid of those two there. And what I'm going to do just to set up my document is here, I'm going to choose sort of a yellowish fill as I've got there already and just turn the stroke off just for now. Then I'm going to tap L on my keyboard to get the ellipse tool. My smart guides are turned on, so that's control U or command U to turn those on and off, but you can see they're showing me the middle of the document. And I'm going just north of that, then holding down Alt and Shift together, that's Option Shift on a US keyboard, and dragging outwards, releasing the mouse button, then releasing those modifier keys. Next, I'm going to tap M on my keyboard to get the rectangle tool. And I'm going to start just about here, just towards the bottom of the circle. I'm just going to hold down the Alt or Option key and drag outwards like so to create a rectangle just like that. I'm then going to move underneath that one and just a little way there, hold down the Alt key and drag outwards just a bit like so. That's going to create the sort of metal part at the bottom of the light bulb. I can nudge that up using the arrow keys if I want to. And then just slightly less far away, down at the bottom here, just to make another narrow rectangle. And again, I'm holding down the Alt key just to draw from the center outwards. Okay, so there is the set that I need to do this. I'm gonna deal with the small shape at the bottom here first. I'm going to tap A on my keyboard to get the direct selection tool drag across the lower two points on that shape, and then drag in those widgets to curve off those corners. Handy, that's all done nicely. Okay, let's just restore the view so you can see the whole thing. Next, what I'm going to do is with my selection tool, I've just tapped V on my keyboard to get that. I'm going to drag across these two shapes, so the ellipse and the first of those rectangles, and what I'm going to do is get my Pathfinder. That's in the Window menu and Pathfinder. You'll find that just there. It's already in my interface here, however. I'm going to join these two things together, but I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key when I do that, because that way you just see the resulting shape like so, but if I go into Outline mode, you can see they're all still there, which means they're all completely editable. I can simply double click on there and change anything I need to do about that shape and so on. So now that I've done that, I want to keep this compound shape selected. I'm going to go up to the effect menu. I'm going to come down to stylize and choose round corners. And then I'll dial in a value. Actually what I had there, 12 millimeters, pretty good actually. I might just see if I can make that a bit bigger there, like so, yeah, 13, 14, that's pretty good for me. So I'll hit OK, like so. Then I can just nudge these into place. And there you go, once I've done that, I can select all of those things. Again, I can join them together holding down the Alt key or Option key. So they're all one shape that's completely editable. And that's it, I've got my light bulb. If you want to be a bit flat and material with it, if I drag a copy over to the side here, just holding down the Alt key to do that, I've got a graphic style already that just swaps out the fill for the stroke and makes it nice and bold like so. There you go, practice that, improve your drawing techniques, a light bulb in potentially under a minute. And so there you are, that's this week's shuriken skill for you to practice. And don't forget, if you want to learn more even faster, do check out my titles on lynda.com and LinkedIn Learning, but we're done for now. Please do subscribe to the channel, reach out to me via Facebook and Twitter, spread the word, and I'll see you next Monday for another Shuriken Skills session.